little continent or Shahrut has the most diverse ecosystem in Iran. From the north, it is surrounded by the heavily forested Alburz mountain range, and from the south, by the arid salty desert. On my way to desert in Khartouran National Park, I'm going to make a quick stop to check out the green sceneries of the Alburz mountain range. I joined some local guides and forest rangers to drive up all the way to the top of these mountains, where you can see the green province of Golestan. And if you're lucky and there's no smog, then the beautiful Caspian Sea is visible too. A few kilometers from Shahru, there is a city called Mojen. And it is famous for its massive waterfall called Tangye Dostan, the only source of water for many of these greeneries. Once up in a time, there was a city down there called Dostan, which means story. This huge waterfall is the only thing remained from that time, and it's called Tangye Dostan, which means story canyon. I'm sure it has a lot of stories to tell you from the old days. The Khar Turan National Park only a two-hour drive heading east from green forests of Shahru is located in the central desert of Iran. We spend the night at Delbar Ranger Station, and tomorrow morning we will join the park rangers for a tour of this amazing national park. The park is so vast and it is so difficult to spot wildlife. And when you do, it is so hard to get close to them without being noticed. Mr. Yusuf, he knows the area like back of his head, and he has super sharp eyes that can spot wildlife from kilometers away. He took us to a water source where there's a high chance to spot flocks of wild sheep and wild goats. And yes, we were lucky to see a lot of them. Khartouran, which is the second largest reserve in Iran, is mainly famous for Asiatic cheetah. It is home to one of the largest populations of this critically endangered mammal. And we were lucky to see one from very close distance. Her name is Delbar. Later on that day, Mr. Qurban Lu, who is the chief ranger of the park, joined us too. And he briefed me on the geographical situation of the park, wildlife condition, and conservation projects. جا پارک ملی توران هست در 150 کیلومتر جنوب شرقی شهرستان شاهرود هست. وسعتش حدود 1 میلیون و 500 هزار هکتار است و یکی از ذخیره‌گاه‌های زیست‌کره کشور هست و دومین ذخیره‌گاه زیست‌کره در جهان بعد از سرنگتی آفریقا است. و تنها منطقه‌ای در ایران هست که اون هرم اکولوژیکیش کامل هست یعنی در رأس هرم گوشخاران بزرگ جسه هست و after a long day at Khartouran National Park, we go to the steppe village of Qalebala, which is located on a hillside right next to the park. A peaceful village where traditional architecture and its beautiful scenery is perfectly preserved by locals. Nowadays, Kalepolo, with its beautiful houses, stone-paved alleys, and an amazing view of the park, is a major tourist attraction in this region. I joined one of the elders to get a tour of this charming village. There's such a trust and security in this village that surprises every tourist when they see doors open, unlocked, and even keys left on the door. 
There are some gorgeous guest houses in this village, which are perfect accommodation options for tourists who come here to relax and experience a different lifestyle. Women in this village are very active in making handicrafts, so the tourists can take back home some souvenirs of Qalebala and Khartouran. Handicraft making in Qalebala has greatly contributed to raise the local people's economic situation and eventually supported anti-poaching efforts and conservation projects in the Khartouran National Park. Qalebala is my last stop in this area and I have to head back to Shahru to check out some other attractive places and people. Shahriyar Azimi for Iran.